Hello, I'm Assistant Sheriff Brett Zimmerman, and I'm going to brief you on the details as we know them today about the officer-involved shooting that occurred on Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. This is OIS number five for 2020, fatal shooting number one, and at the same time last year, we were at OIS number seven and fatal shooting number two. Date, time, and type of call is going to be April 21st, 2020, at 1.55 p.m., and the original call was a stolen plate. Location of OIS is 455 East Twain Avenue, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89169, located in the South Central Area Command. You can see the scene to my left. Time of the OIS, shots were fired at approximately 3.02 p.m. Our involved officers our officer Jonathan Tamino, I'll spell that, it's J-O-H-N-A-T-H-A-N, Tamino, spelled T-O-M-A-I-N-O. He's 27 years old and has been with LVMPD since 2016. In this incident, Officer Tamino, Tamino was armed with a Glock 17 9mm handgun. The investigation revealed he fired 11 rounds during the incident. Our second officer involved is Officer Alex Kempf, spelled K-E-M-P-F, and it's pronounced Kemp. Kempf. He is 26 years old and has been with LVMPD since 2016. In this incident, Officer Kemp was armed with a Glock 41 Gen 4 45 caliber handgun equipped with a tactical optic and light. The investigation revealed he fired four rounds during this incident. Both officers are assigned to the Community Policing Division in our Bolden Area Command. We do have video from body-worn cameras, and I will show you that video at the conclusion of my remarks. Our suspect, pictured to my left, is Chase Rosa. He is a 24-year-old Hawaiian male adult, 5'8", 160 pounds. His weapon, Rosa was armed with a Lefevre Arms single breech barrel 12 gauge shotgun. And again, that's pictured to my left. The suspect did not fire his weapon during this incident. Our suspect's vehicle is a white 2009 Acura TL. This vehicle was reported stolen on April 10th, 2020 within the LVMPD jurisdiction and that's how the, uh, our stolen plate came into effect, that a plate that had been stolen from another vehicle had been placed on this stolen vehicle, and that's how the plate was hit on being stolen. Rosa's criminal history, possession and receiving stolen vehicle two times, 2017 Nevada, CCW 2017 Nevada, theft 2017 Nevada, Felony obstruction of a police officer, 2017, in Utah. And I'll back up on the previous theft in 2017, that was in Utah also. Rosa's charge is if he had survived. Attempt robbery with a deadly weapon, ex-felon possession of a firearm, possession of a short barrel shotgun, possession of a stolen vehicle, resisting an officer with a deadly weapon, and he also had a felony warrant out of Utah for parole violation for larceny. Before I provide the details of the OIS, I will briefly explain why the, off, why the involved officers were wearing plain clothes and were driving unmarked vehicles. Every area command has officers assigned to a flex team who routinely wear plain clothes and used unmarked vehicles to conduct surveillance on suspects who commit crimes within their area command and assist our uniformed patrol officers. Details of the OIS as follows. On Tuesday, April 21st, 2020, at approximately 1.55 p.m., an LVMPD officer attempted to initiate a vehicle stop at Decatur and US 95 on a white Acura TL for excessive speed. The vehicle driven by the suspect, Chase Rofa, Rosa, failed to stop for that officer. A records check revealed that the license plate was reported stolen and it belonged to a different vehicle. Per our policy, our officers will not engage in a vehicle pursuit 
unless the person fleeing meets one or both of the following criteria. First is a violent felony offense has been committed or the subject presents a clear and immediate danger to the public. Due to that fact, instead of engaging in a vehicle pursuit, our air unit was requested and officers were directed to use what's called a bubble tactic. The bubble tactic utilizes available police units to create a mobile perimeter or bubble. Bubbling officers will monitor the fleeing vehicle via radio out of view of the suspect and move into positions surrounding the suspect while obeying all traffic laws. Our air unit was able to spot the vehicle just a few minutes after the initial officer attempted to stop it. The air unit was able to follow Rosa as he drove recklessly through four area commands to include the city of Henderson. That time frame was approximately almost one hour. Rosa reached speeds over 100 miles per hour. At one point, the vehicle sped up to 120 miles per hour while on the freeway. The vehicle also sped up to 80 miles per hour on surface streets while no uniformed officers were anywhere near that vehicle. His reckless driving continued as he traveled on the surface streets. He failed to stop at several intersections and endangering citizens who had the right of way while driving. At 2.41 p.m., Rosa dropped off two females who were inside of that vehicle with him at a gas station in the area of Sunset and Spencer, which was observed by our air unit. Officers detained both females who exited that vehicle and they advised that Rosa had a shotgun on his lap while driving the vehicle. At 3 o'clock p.m., Rosa stopped in front of the Siegel Suites located at 455 East Twain and exited the vehicle while holding a shotgun in his hands. Rosa walked around the rear of his car towards a vehicle that was exiting the Siegel Suites. He pointed his shotgun at the occupant of the vehicle and in an apparent attempt to steal that vehicle. Officers Tomino and Kemp pulled up behind Rosa's car and exited their unmarked police vehicle. Officer Tamino identified himself by screaming Metro Police and ordered Rosa to drop the gun. Rosa turned towards Officer Tamino while pointing the shotgun at him. Both officers fired at Rosa, striking him multiple times, causing him to fall to the ground. Additional officers arrived and assisted with taking Rosa into custody. Medical was summoned for Rosa, who was transported to Sunrise Trauma where he was pronounced deceased by medical staff. During the incident, a canine unit was also deployed to assist with taking the suspect into custody. In the process, the canine accidentally bit one of our officers. The officer was also transported to the hospital, but was treated and released shortly thereafter. I will now show video from the incident the first video I'll show is actually our air unit who was surveilling the video. I'm surveilling the vehicle for the entire uh, length of time it was driving recklessly. He's coming up to Twain now. Hi, you got the call? Everybody's a problem. He'll be turning to westbound Twain from Maryland now. Speeds are still about 40. Air 2, you still up? On the request of Pitt, that's a negative. If this guy's armed with a 413, we don't want to engage him. We want him to dump that vehicle. I don't even want black and whites bubbling. I want the unmarked vehicles bubbling, hoping he lays his vehicle down. He's picking it up pretty fast. He's westbound Twain. Still westbound Twain. Uh, he's about 70 miles an hour now, blowing the uh, blue the red light. The white vehicle was described as a white, possibly a Nissan, four-door sedan, dark tinted windows break. And during that 4-7, it was uh, driven by a BMA. 9 one 5 we're right behind the vehicle. 9 5 have Yep. Put this guy in, I think now's a good chance if you want it. 7 8 one if he's on with a long gun, we're not going to try and block him. Okay, you made a U-turn to westbound Twain. He's out. He's out of vehicle. Okay, shots are fired. And this is the vehicle slowed, uh, the video slowed down.
Okay, the next video I'm going to show is Officer Kemp's body-worn camera. And again, the video from Officer Kemp is now slowed down. Next video is video from uh, Officer Tomino, both at real speed and slowed down. He's on the ground! Shotgun next to him! Don't reach for it! Don't reach for it! And then our last video is actually from the uh, Seagull Suites, which uh, occurred, it occurred right in front of their property in the street. Okay, and there's a still of the uh, suspect pointing the shotgun at the victim who he attempted to carjack. And also a still of the suspect pointing the shotgun at our officer. And this concludes our briefing. Thank you.